Good morning to all. Today we are starting with a new chapter of grammar prepositions. Now, what is a preposition? Now, with the word preposition, we can understand that it is made up of two words. If we divide the word, it is made up of two words. Pre plus position. Pre means before and position means place. So a preposition is a word that shows a relationship between a noun or a pronoun and another word in a sentence. Prepositions usually come before a noun or a pronoun and they give information about time, place or direction. For example, the school starts at 7.30 a.m. So at is here time. It is telling the time. My mother is in the garden. So in is the word which is telling the place of mother. The train went through the tunnel. Through is the direction which is telling about the movement of the train from one end to the another end. Now, kinds of preposition. When we talk about kinds of preposition, first one is simple prepositions. Now, simple prepositions are those prepositions which consists of only one word. Means there is only one word. For example, in, on, at, with, over, through, under, above, and so on. Second type is compound preposition. Compound prepositions are those prepositions which consist of two or more words. For example, instead of, in the middle of, by the side of, and so on. Now, when we talk about third type of preposition, then we can say that it is double preposition. This I have not written here, I'm just telling you. It's like if we speak, the dog jumped onto the bed and left marks upon the sheets. Now, on to, on to is a single preposition, but it is made up of two prepositions, on plus two. And up and on, so upon. So you can use up and on together and use it as a double preposition. Now, some prepositions. I have sharing a screen, and you can see these are the prepositions which we use like on, through, behind, beneath, against, for, beside, over, and so on. Now, kinds of prepositions. There are three types of prepositions. First is prepositions of place or place of preposition. Then time of prepositions and direction of prepositions. So the first one is preposition of place. Preposition of place show where something happens. So they are called preposition of place. When we talk about them, we can understand this with the help of the examples. First one is, Sani was sitting under a tree. So, where was, where is, what is the position? Under. Where was she sitting? Under. Some geese flew over their house. So, again, over is the place. John and Sarah were hiding inside the wardrobe. There was a tree beside the river. Again, if we want to understand the use of at, in, and on for preposition of place, we can understand with the help of this screen which I am showing you on here. Now, when we want to talk about the word at, preposition at, so at can be used for location like the top of the stairs, at the bottom of the page, the end of the street. Or you can use it for specific places or you can point the in space. You can point the places in space. In space, Then you can use for events. You can even use for public uh, places, for shops and for addresses also. Like for group or for events, you can use like at a party, at a concert, at the cinema, 
for places you can use at school, at university, or at home. Then for shops, you can use at the bakery, at a cafe, at the chemist. Now, when we want to use for in, in is actually we use which areas which have edges like inside within something or in enclosed space or you can use with containers, liquids, you can use building rooms, you can use with areas, you can use for cities also like in London, then in the car, in a van, in the sea, in a river, in a lake, in the swimming pool, printed material also in a book, in a picture, uh, in the newspaper. Now, what is the use of on? On is used for flat surfaces like on the floor, on the fifth floor, on the, on the right, on the left, public transport, on the bus, when media, on the radio, on TV, on internet, on a website. Another way of using this, I'll tell you. How can we use preposition of place? Now, when we are using, again I'm repeating, when we are using at, you can use for uh, cities also. You can use for small villages also. Like he lives in Gyanpur. Okay. Or he lives in Basi. It's a name of small villages or cities. Next. You can also use for countries which have vast area, big areas they have. Like he lives at Hathi Pole in Udapu. So here you are using in also and you are using at also. Why you are using at? Because at is the location which you are showing in the vast area of Udap. Now again, you can use for a place of definite space. Like he is at the school gate. So at the school gate, this is the definite point or place where you want to show the, uh, that show the uh, person or anyone else. Now second is the use of in. When we are talking about preposition of place, how can we use in? First is, suppose you want to speak and say that, if, sorry, if you want to say like he lives in India. So the area of India is vast. So we can use it here also. Again, if you want to point out a place in a vast area, again, same. Like he lives at Zohri Bazaar in Jaipur. So you are using, you are telling the place and where is the place? It is in Jaipur. Next, uh, on. How can we use on? Again, one more thing I want to say. How can you use uh, in? He is in the room. So in the room means he is inside that boundary only. He is enclosed with some surrounding. That's why we can use. In. Again, if you want to use on. On you are using when you have a surface, like right? the book is on the table, spread out a carpet on the floor. So there is a surface, then you can use on. Second, then one more thing which you can use from. Like this letter has come from Agra. Okay, so this is also where you can use for place. You are showing the place. It has come from Agra. Next, again, if I want to say they will travel from Kashmir to Kanyakumari. So again, you are saying the place from where the you are starting or from where that work is starting. Please remove the group book from the table. So again, the work which is starting to remove the book is from the table. Now, even if you can use by also. Like, come and sit by me. By me means near me. Okay. Then we can also use between. Between we can use when we are using to show the place between two people. Between two things. Like, there is a tree between the two houses. So you are showing the place of the tree by using the word preposition 
between now when we talk about over over means uh, like for example spread the sheet over the uh, sorry spread the sheet over the bed means you are using the this over when you are putting anything over another thing okay like bed is already there and now you are putting sheet over that next under same as it was over then it will be under that you are not touching that okay you have to remember when you are using over it is like you are just covering that part but when you are using under like my dog sits under my coat so here you are not sitting the you are not touching the coat you are only saying that again example a cat is sitting under the table so that cat is not touching the table through when we want to use through it means passing starting from one and ending to the other part starting from here and ending there now how can we say this? i can explain you with examples also now there are many like along across around against about behind down beside these are all words which we can use in prepositions now moving to time when we talk about time preposition of times show some uh, when something happens they are called prepositions of time okay so one minute i'll just go back yeah this i have shared now see again when we talk about preposition of time you can see again at is used here by is used here and we will see about in also so like my school starts at 9 o'clock we are going to the zoo on sunday so at and on is used here and i'll tell you one more word or sentence with in like it is cold in winter so now i'll tell you how to use Of at, on, and in for prepositions of time. Now see, when we use preposition at for time, it is used for precise time. Means it is used for a point of time. Like I get up at five o'clock. Okay, then he sleeps at midnight. It is very hot at noon. So. at noon at midnight at 5 o'clock are the uh, points which are definite you cannot change they are the point of time now the use of in in is used for months years then we can use for season we can use for decades centuries and a long period of time for example in 16 years time in 1991 in december in the 21st century in the christmas holiday so like some examples i'll give you if you want to use for month you will write you can write our school session begins in april if we want to talk about season you can say it is cold in winter when you want to say about years you can say ashok will be post graduated in 2 years or ashok will complete is bsc in 3 years so you are telling a period a long period of time now even you can use in in the time part of the day of a day like he takes tea in the morning so in the morning morning is a part of a day so we can use it again we can use like he plays football in the evening nobody works in the afternoon again if some we use like this also it's like he he it is 12 at noon he goes to bed at night noon night these are some definite points of time that's why we are using at night then noon they are the definite points that's why we are using at for these words okay now the use of on on we use for days dates and festivals like he comes here on monday so monday is your day makar sankranti falls on 14 january 
so it is your day and when we talk about festival we can use we shall visit your town on dipavali okay now if we can also use on for a given given time like he finishes his work on time not afterwards not later this money is payable payable on demand now even you can use from and to like point at the beginning of time period and point at the end of a time period like i work from morning to evening so morning is the beginning of time period and two is the end of the time period say the te teacher taught me from 7 am to 9 am again there are more words which we can use for uh time also like after then before then by again between and for since beyond during around until within over these are the prepositions which are used for uh, using for telling the time like if i say for after after means like you are telling anything which is happening after that like it is dark after sunset so you are telling the time after sunset before it indicates earlier and after indicates later like march comes before april by by is used to tell the time in the watch like it is 5 o'clock by my watch you never say it is 5 o'clock in my watch okay you will say it is 5 o'clock by your by my watch or if you want to ask a question you can say what is the time by your watch now again if you are saying for a given time then you can say i shall be at your home by monday so it is a definite time which you are giving so that time also you can use by now between if you want to use between for preposition of time how can you use you will use between two times like i can stay with you between 5 pm and 6 pm so 5 pm and 6 pm two uh, you have giving a time between this time period next for for is used for a period of time it denotes it denotes the duration of an activity you are telling about the duration of that activity for example he has been ill for 5 years so this is the duration of his illness i study english for an hour so this is the du duration which you are telling for your study now since for is you telling you about the duration now since since tells about the point of time like he has been he has been living in this town since 2001 so it is telling the point of time or you can say it is telling the definite year one more i can say he has been absent from school since monday so monday is the definite day which you are pointing again they have been learning their lesson since morning so morning is the fixed time she has been dancing since since 5 o'clock so these are some words like around till so as we will do the exercises we will go move on and we'll i'll tell you about their explanations also now the third one is preposition of direction when we talk about preposition of direction it tells where something is going we can also say movement or we can also say uh, motion so now when i am talking about time um, direction it is like the boys chased after each other the football rolled down the hill a man was walking his dog along the river bank and so on let's understand some prepositions of movement like to to is used when there is a specific destination in your mind for example if you have decided that you are going to a doctor's house or to a doctor's clinic it means your destination is fixed 
it is specified so you can say i am going to the doctor's house you can say i am going to the party or even you can say are you going to the party now when i want to talk about two words it's like movement in the direction of something like he was sitting with his back towards me next through through means movement across something from one side to the other now see second one is also the same across movement from one end of something to the other end so when the meaning is same then what is the use where you are going to use through and where you are going to use across so now let's let me explain you through now see the example the train went through the tunnel and the example of across is they walked across the road now the confusion is we can also say the train went across the street no across the tunnel no it will be wrong why it will be wrong i'll explain you when you are using through it means the movement is from one side of it to the other side but when you are talking what is the difference the difference is here the tunnel is stable stable it is not moving but the movement is only of the train so when the if this thing is there then you are not going to use across you will only use through but when you are talking about across it means that movement is on a flat surface and here you are also moving there like he he is walking across the road so here the road is stable but you are walking here so here it will we are going to use across and it is a flat surface like you have to go from this end to that end so you can use like he is swimming across the river but in the previous case the tunnel went through the uh, sorry the train went through the tunnel there the tunnel is stable but the train is in movement now when we talk about over over means something's position when it is above something else one thing is already there and you are covering it with another thing like i put a shawl over my shoulder so shoulder is already a place and then you are putting something so you are showing a movement here now along along means movement in a line movement in a line means like we walk along the river river is already there and you are walking along with it so it will be movement in a line now the difference between in on and into in we use when you are saying uh, the position in relation to the area or space or anything place which is surrounding it like we are going to have a picnic in the park so park is an enclosed area or park has a uh, surrounding all around it so we can use in there now when you are using for on on is used which position to show the position in relation to a surface like there was an array of food on the table so table is a flat area or it is a surface the rain falling on the roof kept me from sleeping so again roof is an area roof is a area again into into means when you are using like from one um, uh, like causing something to hit something else for example you can use into uh, he went into the room so here it's like you are moving from one area to another area like he got into the car so before he entered the car he was outside so that outside was one area now you have entered the car so your inside the car is your second area so you will not say i got in the car you will say he got into the car again another example i'll tell you 
the lion jumped into the well so the first area is the area outside the well and now he has jumped into the well so into the well is inside area of the well so here we are going to use into we are not going to use in now if i say upon upon if i want to say the uh, cat jumped upon the table so it is like the cat was not uh, near that area it was at some area some other area so it has jumped to another area that is your table so here you can use upon say the monkey jumped and sat upon the back of the crocodile so the area where the monkey was sitting before maybe it may be a land maybe uh, it may be a tree so now he has changed his, his area so the monkey jumped and sat upon the back of the crocodile 